looking at the broad sc scale of literature in general, horror in particular, there's no better time to be telling your stories uh, in part because there are more ways for you to reach people than there ever were before, right? Like a, uh, it's, I, I don't believe it's that there are more very diverse horror writers now than there used to be. I just think that what used to be was that there was a handful of magazines, mm. a couple of publishers um, who had their own preferences and those preferences clearly didn't expand far beyond their, maybe I would say primary social circle kind of thing. Like who are the people they're meeting at conventions? Who are the people, you know, like uh, when you would find out, at least I found this like uh, both in literary fiction and then horror fiction, when I would look back on the 70s, 80s, 90s, and you would say, oh, those guys were drinking buddies since way back. And you go, oh, right. Okay, that's how that, but then of course, that's how people get jobs at the post office too. Your uncle or your aunt gets you in at the post office. Your cousin gets you in at the fire department. Uh, like, unfortunately, uh, that kind of sort of like, uh, what is it? Um, that kind of like unofficial networking is a part of every uh, profession that almost every profession that there is. Mm 